guys it's Remy Jan welcome back to the channel where we motivate help and inspire each other every week this month I would like to start a new series which is all about the self and today I would like to talk about self-love as I believe that the year is ending we're starting a new year and having self-love is going to be vital it's going to be vital in overcoming this month the next year but also the years to come so if this topic is for you make sure to stay tuned so you can find out what self-love really is and start practicing it in your everyday life i think about two years ago i made a video about finding yourself and loving yourself i will leave those links in the description down below so if you're interested make sure to go check out those videos but before I think that you can love yourself I believe that you need to find yourself because if you find yourself then you can really start loving that person that you found and not loving a false version of yourself and I'm not going to get too in-depth on finding yourself but just one brief thing that I do want to say about finding yourself so you can kind of you know get the idea and catch along is that just imagine you're a person you don't know what you like you don't know what you want to do you don't know what your interests your desires are but when you're around a group of people you like feel like oh yeah this is what i want to do when you're not with that group of people no more you feel like man i'm so lost like blah 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 and then you get to another group of people and maybe they like this type of stuff and then you're like oh this is what i like so your your likes your desires and everything is based on what other people like but you need to find yourself you need to find what you like you need to find your desires you need to find your interests you need to find your hobbies so you can start loving that person so you can start loving the true you your true self and not loving the idea of somebody else in your life before you can practice self-love you have to understand the meaning of self-love and what it really is self-love is a state of appreciation for oneself and it grows from actions that support our physical our psychological and our spiritual growth so having a high regard for your well-being and happiness is vital it also means to take care of your own needs and not sacrifice your well-being to please other people so in general we can say that self-love means to protect yourself from anything that disturbs your peace but also accept yourself for who you are and what you do as well as loving yourself as you would love somebody else even though the meaning of self-love can vary from person to person like maybe this is what gives you self-love maybe this is what lets you know that you're loving yourself the general meaning it's basically all about your peace and your well-being and your mental state and actually since we're at this point already one thing that i see a lot is that people mistake self-love with being selfish being selfish and self-love are slightly different there are two different things if you have to let go of something if you have to let go of certain people just to take care of your own self that's not being selfish if you know that you're holding on to somebody you know just to please them you're just in their life just to please them but you know you're draining you know that they're sucking you dry you know that they're taking advantage of you whatever the case is then you stepping away from that taking yourself out of that situation to to take care of your mental health and your well-being is not considered being selfish because you we how to love ourselves as much as we love someone else and how can we love someone else if we don't love ourselves first so one thing at this point that i want you to know is that practicing self-love is not you being selfish it's me protecting my peace it's me protecting my life and it's me wanting to live a happy life and not a life where i'm being dragged or being drained or being you know feel like i have to please somebody having self-love makes you live a better life and that's something that i had to notice in my life growing up i was in a dark place but because i started learning how to love myself i was able to come up from that place into a more positive bubble and now i am way better than what i was even though i feel like i still you know need to practice it some more because sometimes you can fall back into you know you know self-doubt and self-hate but in general i am at a better place and i understand what it means to love myself and one thing that i notice is that if you lack self-love you will always feel the need to fill up that void with people with going out whatever the case is because you need that filler and you don't truly have that peace you don't truly have that joy from within you and that's what we're trying to work on is to have that peace to have that joy from within you there are thousands of examples, you know, that can be tied to self-love. But because I feel like this is the main 
um, example that is coming to my head now, which is also related to YouTube now because that's honestly where I learned the most, is that at some point in time, I always thought to compare myself. I would always constantly compare myself to other people. So there were times where I wanted to start YouTube, but I had so much self-doubt. I was like, first, I can't produce videos like these people that I'm watching. I could never... But now if you watch my videos, I've come a long way and I am producing those videos and I am going to get better. Another thing is that I never wanted to start YouTube because I would be I I was so insecure about myself, low self-esteem, which we're gonna talk about in another video. I would not feel good about myself the way I look. And I'm like, I can't put myself on camera like this. At some point I didn't always want to put on makeup to feel beautiful. I wanted to be beautiful in my own skin, so it took a lot. It took a lot for me to reach self-love, but at some point, I just had to let go of everything. And I said, you know what? I'm going to love me for me. This is how God made me. With or without makeup, I am still Debbie. I am still me. I still do what I do, and I am a great person, you know? And all of those things do not define me. So I started practicing these things, and here I am. I was like, you know what? Whoever don't want to watch me, you don't have to watch me. If you don't like my face, you can bounce. If you don't want to watch me, you can bounce, you know? So you have to get to that point in your life where it's like you don't care, unapologetic. And then I started making my videos and now most of my, I'm not saying makeup is, is a bad thing, but for me, makeup was something that would make me, you know, I, I feel like I'm nothing without it. So I had to let go of it. And now for the past two, going to three years, if not already three years, I haven't been wearing makeup as much. Like I barely wear makeup, you guys. In all of my videos that I've been posting, I don't wear makeup and I feel so good. I feel strong. I feel confident. I don't feel like because I'm coming on video, you know, I had to quickly, you know, do everything, make sure I look good, put the powder on. Because that's what I used to do. Like, oh man, I'm about to shoot a video today. I have to get ready. I would not shoot a video because I'm like, I don't feel like putting makeup today, so no video. And it shouldn't be like that. You should feel comfortable in your own skin, feel comfortable in your body and everything else that comes with that. That is just one example for me. So... I had to come to a part where I was at peace. I had to find my own peace and I truly did from within where I knew that none of that stuff make me happy. None of that stuff make me who I am. I came to the part where I was happy with myself. I found peace within myself. So today, and I, I, I did a lot of things that, you know, got me to that place. So today, ask yourself what self-love means to you. Ask yourself what are the things that make you happy? What are the things that you want to do? When do you feel yourself? Because self-love equals self-care. And I also did a video on that which I will leave in the description. So make sure you go check out these three videos because again, I know they will help you. It's not going to happen overnight, but I know that it's going to give you some type of thought of mind it's because like i said it is vital to how your life is going to turn out to how you live your everyday life and to how you you know just interact with other people and most importantly yourself i'm just going to name a few examples of self-care which is something like doing healthy activities making room for healthy habits your diet exercising sleeping well and much more look deep into yourself find yourself love yourself and see what you can do take care of yourself take care of yourself as if you would take care of somebody else that love that you would show to somebody else show it to yourself first because you deserve it the advice you would give somebody else on how to love themselves and oh they're beautiful they're handsome say it to you first because you deserve it and you're the first person that should receive your own message everything that i say as i always say in my videos i say it to me first because i know that it's going to also help me. And here on the screens, I'm going to leave you a few things on how you can practice self-love and be consistent in them because it takes consistency to really reach that highest point of self-love. So in closing, if you're still here and you made it this far, that means you still have life. That means it is not too late for you to practice self-love. I am a true example of that and I know it works and I know it would definitely work for you too. And this is my message to you. I want you to see the light. I want you to live your happiest life and I definitely want you to reach the best version of yourself. So with that being said, I hope this video was helpful to you guys. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe and share. Make sure to turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another video. And as I always say, remember to MHI someone. 
I love you guys and see you next time.